guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I wear this shirt all the time and I feel like I wear this lipstick all the time, so it is what it is. <laughs> Today I am back with an unboxing for you. I haven't done an unboxing in a couple of months. Last month I didn't do it because my birch box didn't come before I left for my Christmas vacation. I don't know why I air quoted vacation, it was a great vacation. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm back to do a birch box and boxy charm unboxing. They're not really verses anymore because this one is $10 a month, this one is $20 a month. Um, I purchased the birch box myself, but boxy charm sends these to me, which is great. And they're always both really worth it. Whoop, whoopsie. They're always worth the money, I think. But um, let's dig in and see what's up this month. Also, if you're interested, I will have both of my links for both of these down below. If you sign up through me, it helps me out a little bit, which I would appreciate. But I will have all the info down there. And let's get into it. Oh my god, this box is so cute. I'm keeping this box. Okay, so it has a bunch of these like little yoga girls on it. I'm super into yoga right now. It says, hello, 2017. And it says, birch box and self. Um, it just has a bunch of cute little things on it. Some rainbows, a record player, some makeup, and it's around the sides too. That's so cute. And then it has like this bright yellow bottom. So let's see what's inside. I didn't pick a curated box. I did pick a curated item, which I'm actually really excited about. Oh, and it's so small. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. So this month's theme is new year, new perspective, which I love. That's super cute. I already know from looking at the like preview in my Birchbox app that it's not my favorite month. They're never terrible, but they are hits and misses kind of. The sample that I chose, is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. I've been hearing really good things about Sunday Riley in general, but this in specific, I've been hearing a lot about it on Snapchat, which is random, but it's true. It says, deeply exfoliates for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. It visibly brightens the appearance of dark spots. So it's this little tiny guy, which I don't know how much of this you need. I further this is pretty drying to your skin, so you're gonna need a moisturizer after it, but I'm excited to try it. I know that Sunday Riley is all natural products. I know it's expensive, so I was excited to try something from it, so yeah. Next up we have nail polish, which I'm never thrilled to get. This is Juliet Has a Gun. What the hell? I think this is a nail polish at least. Okay, it's not. It's a perfume. Again, something I don't love to get in sample boxes. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Smells... nope. Smells like old ladies. Next we have a mascara, which is not my favorite sample to get just because I have so many damn mascaras. I mean, I'd rather get a mascara than an eyeliner, but this is the Aero Endure, that perfume is terrible. <laughs> Aero Endure Water Resistant Mascara. Um, I'm going to probably pass this on I'm probably going to just pass this on immediately because I have too many mascaras to work through. I'm realizing that I'm not reading full prices. Okay, the Sunday Riley thing, the full size, is $105. That's crazy. The perfume full size is from $100 to $135. Nope. And the full size of that mascara is $20. So, okay. Next up, we have something from Eau Thermale Avene, which I like this brand. This is the mask or soothing moisture mask. I always try to read in the wrong language. That's just because I'm an overachiever. I'm pretty sure I already have this. I think I got it in an Ipsy and I've used it once and I really really liked it so I'm happy to have it again. I love moisture masks for traveling and especially in this size it's easy to just throw in your travel bag. This will totally get used. The full size of this is $26 and it says this soothing mask penetrates deeply to banish redness and irritation. They said penetrate. Apply to dry face and neck, let absorb for 10 to 15 minutes, then wipe off any excess product. So, oh, so you don't have to like wash it off. That's cool. And then next we have two-ish samples from R and Co, um, which they sent a freaking foil packaging, which I straight up will not use. I'm such a high maintenance bitch, but I don't care. I will not use this. But they did send um, the Oblivion Clarifying Shampoo. That's great. I don't think I have any clarifying shampoos. So this is like a little bonus, so I get it, but I'm still not gonna use it. <laughs> the full size of this is $24 and it says when our hair is feeling weighed down from product buildup we turn to the shampoo with rosemary leaf extract coconut oil and Japanese witch hazel for a deep deep clean I can't speak now I need to smell it it smells hella good and I'm, I'm gonna put this like in my shower to remind me next time like hey maybe a deep clean for your hair okay guys that was it for the super cute birch box I need to figure out a way to use this box because it's too cute to toss now moving on to boxy charm like I said this one's a little bit more pricey but you get four to five full-size products a month you don't get samples which is cool this is always over a hundred dollars it's always a miracle I don't know how they afford to do it but I'm reaping the benefits, so it's fine. And the theme of this looks like it's like award season, so that's super cute. Okay, I can't move on till we discuss this. This is the Oscar Blondie Pronto Dry Shampoo Spray. This is a huge bottle. I know this brand isn't the cheapest, and I'm pretty sure most of this smells like jasmine, if I remember correctly. No, this one smells a little bit more fruity, but it still smells really, really good. I, there's an Oscar Blondie hair oil that I love, and I believe I've had a sample of this in the past and liked it. And I'm actually running low on some dry shampoo samples that I'm trying to use up before I buy a new one, so now I have 
have this one to use through if I like it. This is the full size. It's $23. Super excited to try this again, even though I know I've already tried it, but I forgot how I liked it. <laughs> Ooh, I got some good things. Okay, so this next thing is this really nice highlight that I keep seeing people talk about. And I've gotten in the past like a small sample size, but passed it on because it was too like small. This is from the brand Vintage by Jessica Lebe Skinned. Wow. This is the Illuminating Face Highlighter Set. Love the white packaging. <gasps> this is beautiful. But you kind of have like your pinky highlight and your like golden bronze highlight. Those are really, really nice. I'm gonna swatch them. Oh, very nice. So here's the pinky more frosty one and then the gold one. Ooh, but when you swatch this gold one, it comes out more kind of like champagne gold. Um, I don't love pink highlights on my skin just because I tend to be more yellow. So whenever I look pink, it like bothers me, but I do love this side. I'm definitely gonna try this out because it seems really nice and I've heard a lot about it. This is the full size and it's $35. And it says, add a beautiful wash of color and subtle sexy shimmer with this limited edition illuminating face highlighter set. I'm hella excited about that. And I like how like compact it is, but you still get two like really big pans. Next I think is a nail polish, which is again, not my favorite, but it's fine. This is the Ad Adise. Adise New York Organic Infused Nail Treatment Essentials. Don't know what that means. Oh, so it's like a, it's not a nail polish, it's a nail treatment. Let's read about this because I have no idea. Oh, it's an ultra suede matte top coat. Okay, I do not like matte top coats, so this is gonna be passed on, but that's fine. This is the full size and it's $18. I don't love matte nails. I personally feel like they're like chalkboards and I can't stand it, but um, it is a trend, it's super in, and I will pass this on to somebody who will use it. Next is a brush from Crown Brush, and it looks like it's a fan brush. Ooh, it's super fancy. I love fan brushes, and this one's a little bit bigger than the one that I currently own, so it'll be fun to use with my new highlight palette. This is a soft fan brush and it's $12.99. Super soft and this will get you, so I'm excited about that. And then last but not least, we have a Pure Cosmetics Cheek Stain. I love Pure. I talked about their eye polishes and my yearly favorites. And so I'm always down to try their new products because, oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> this is the Cheek Stain in Cabernet, which is kind of terrifying, but I will try it maybe on a day that I'm not leaving the house because I'm always not so good with things like this. Looks like a really scary color. Oh, but it's not. It's kind of like a berry color if you blend it out. Ooh, it smells kind of like fruity. This instantly reminds me of the Tarte cheek stains, which I love those. This is the full size and it's $26. I'm super excited about this. Okay guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more unboxings, I will link my playlist right up there in the corner. Again, if you want to subscribe to either of these, I will have all the info down below in my links and I highly recommend both of them. They're super fun to get in the mail each month and it's just like Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe. My little face should be up in that corner. If you click that, you will be subscribed. And then my last video will be right down there. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Leave me comments down below telling me what your favorite from your boxes or subscription bags were this month, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!